how to stake a pile. So how to mark a pile here. I got one pile there and uh, obviously as before, I'm gonna connect with my instrument here. So favorites, instrument has to rotate right again. Uh, let's see if you can see me. Yes, looks all right. Lock to target. So my target is locked now, so I'm good to go. Uh, I'm just gonna go to my map here and choose my pile. And what we're gonna be using for this, what you're gonna be using when setting the piles, you're typically gonna get it on site, but sometimes you might to prepare yourself. You need a small piece of rebar like that. Uh, you're gonna need a mushroom cap, obviously to put on it first to be safe. And secondly, you're gonna actually put the number of a pile you're marking on top of it. And uh, I'm using a spray as well. I wanna make sure this is visible from quite far. And then you need a hammer in most cases to drive that thing down as you're gonna be actually working on the piling mat. In this case, it's just the ground, so I should actually easily drive it in, but let's have a look. So I got my spray, I got everything here, and uh, I can see it's 12 meters from the stations. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It should be roughly here, I think. Uh, still one more meter here, somewhere here and uh, go back 600 a uh, little bit more and uh, in this case the ground is quite soft uh, i'm on the point now perfectly and when we mark in the piles uh, some people are going to tell you yeah, there's a big tolerance on them no we want to set it as perfect as we can we want to set it exactly at the spot when we're gonna drive the bar in, when guys, when the rig gonna come, they're gonna start doing, they're never gonna go perfect. So the tolerance is only for them. For us, it's no tolerance, and it's not really taking much time to make it as it should be at the very point. So I got my point here. Uh, I'm gonna drive the pin now. Uh, I'm just maybe put my pole somewhere here, and I'm gonna drive that in here. So it's not as soft as I thought, and uh, you would need the hammer for it 100%. But let's drive it a little bit in, make sure using proper tools, not like me this time. And uh, we want to drive it quite deep. It's no point to leave it, someone can rip on it. So let's keep it like this, quite low. Let's put that mushroom cup on top of it. I'm going to use my spray now to make sure everyone's going to see that from very far I got my pile here I can mark here that was a pile number one and I'm gonna use a marker for it as well and I'm gonna put here as well that that was a P1 in this case so everyone gonna know so this is a P1 this is a pile number one so when the rig gonna comes it's just to make sure we all know what we are doing when they're going to put the pile when they're going to be logging the pile measuring the depth of the pile and actually getting all the information about this pile everyone wants to make sure this is the p1 pile number one and everyone knows what they're doing obviously later we're going to be doing as built on the piles as well one day finished so that will be all in marking the pile it's just another marking a point really but that's how the procedure is going to be looking we got that small pieces of rebar we drive them in we got mushroom caps and we want to make sure the information is provided for everyone. So we're going to do the stakeout now. I got the two manholes here uh, that are going to be stormwater manholes. I'm going to mark them. As you can see, I got the spray here. I got a blue one for the storm, red one for the foul. That's what I like to use. So if you can tell your PM or tell your senior engineer, if he can order a few colors, it's really good to keep it like that nicely. Uh, so I'm gonna go back here. I know they're gonna be roughly in this area. One manhole should be somewhere here and uh, the other gonna be there. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna use a pole for it. I'm gonna connect again with my instrument. So in this case, the instrument have to rotate left. So I got my number five from favorites. Or if you said, if you use some buttons here, you can use your button for it. I'm typically go through the favorites. And anyway, I got a job and data. Uh, I wanna choose working job. In this case, I have a job called the drainage here and i'm gonna use this job uh, i'm gonna work from map as i really like working from map uh, as you remember and i got a mh1 that's gonna be my manhole one here so i'm gonna press it press and hold uh, and i'm gonna 
press stake point and uh, I'm gonna press distance here. The EDM gonna tell me how much should I go. So I know I need to go one meter that direction and two meter of the EDM. So in this case, it's gonna be very easy. I got around one meter, two meter here. And uh, I can see now I'm uh, within that 500. The reason uh, you want your prism quite high, obviously, uh, you don't wanna be on the way. So I maybe rotate this way. I could put it a little bit higher, but I keep my height here. 1.8 uh, uh, and I got a little bit here I need to move 180 mil so I got around 10 mil both directions in this case uh, we're going to be digging for this manhole we're going to be reducing level that's another example of not wasting too much time to go perfectly to the point it's not the case when we're going to be setting the pop-up we want to go perfect when we're setting the manhole even if we are within 50 mil at this stage of works it's well enough uh, and i'm going to mark it now and obviously later when we're going to be setting the manhole itself we're going to be double checking the position then we need to be perfect so uh, i got my point here uh, i'm just going to do the dot here and I want to make sure I'm going to do like a circle here. So that's going to be my manhole. And obviously you can put like a MH, MH1 for our, for a man. He should have a drawing as well. So he going to know that's a MH1. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use a pole as well here. As you remember, we can also use the option where the EDM going to rotate itself to the point. But in this case, uh, I'm gonna prefer to use a pole, uh, especially the weather like this. Uh, it's very hot and it's very bright, so you probably won't see the laser. And I know it's gonna be very quick with a prism. Uh, and that's another small thing, guys. Uh, you need to remember while working on site, you're gonna be you're gonna be working like this, tormented by the sun. Uh, the sun got no mercy. Uh, so that's the things. And other day, like yesterday, uh, we had a heavy rain. So it's gonna be rain, sun like all seasons in the one day. So uh, I want you to remember this as well. What I'm gonna do now, uh, I'm just gonna press stop. I'm gonna go back to the map uh, and I'm gonna choose my manhole number two, which is MH2. And same as before, uh, I'm just gonna press uh, stake point uh, uh, and I'm gonna press distance. Uh, so I'm still connected. Uh, so now I know from the instrument, uh, it tells me I need to go 12 meters that way, and three meters. Of the instrument so uh, i'm just gonna go 12 meters one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so roughly somewhere here i'm gonna double check so from the instrument my instrument is there now so i need to go around one meter there so that's what i'm gonna do here one meter here uh, i'm in that 500 circle now from the point i got 300 this way And I'm on the point. So my second manhole is gonna be here, uh, and I'm gonna do exactly the same as before. I'm gonna mark it. I'm gonna put like a big ring. I wanna make sure uh, everyone's gonna see, and I'm gonna call it MH2. So what information I got from instrument now? I got the level of my pond as I put the invert level of this manhole. And in this case, I know now that uh, I am two meters. 540 millimeters from my invert level. So that's gonna be the level we have to dig for to get to invert level. And obviously we're gonna have a manhole base. Uh, we're gonna have some build up there. So we're gonna be digging more than that. So my target is lost as I, as I told you before, we need to make sure we're not gonna be on the line. Oh, we set it a little bit higher. So around 2.5 meter now from this level to my invert level. So if the foreman, if the PM gonna ask me, me, Greg, how much we gonna be digging there for that manhole from this ground level? So even before we gonna have a look at our survey we done before, I know now we are gonna be digging less than three meters, 2.7, 2.8 meters. So we got 2.5 to invert level, and then gonna be some build up, which we are gonna have a look on the drawings. We are gonna make sure we are gonna do it as it should be done. 